future titans. Today's story is Ara the Star Engineer by Kamal Singh and other thinkers and tinkerers at Google. Illustrated by Epek Konak. Hello world. I am Ara. This is my assistant Didi. We both love to learn about big numbers. Did you know there's a number with 100 zeros in it? It's called a Google. Google was named by a nine-year-old kid. Did you know that my name Ara is also the name of a constellation with seven stars? But there are way more than seven stars out there. I wonder how many? A zillion? A gazillion? A Google? Let's find out. To count such a big number of stars very fast, I'll need the help of a computer. Like you, Didi. How do I program you to count stars? Beep. Oh, of course. Didi was invented by engineer superheroes at InnovationPlex. I bet they would love to help us. Okay, Didi. Let's go to the Plex. Beep. The first person I meet is Kripa, the prolific problem solver. She's in the data center, surrounded by huge computers and many screens that show some kind of scary crisis. Her team is panicking, but she is calm. How do you figure out the problem and keep thousands of computers running, I ask? Let's analyze, says Kripa. Any big problem can be solved with a plan. Each of these screens gives us a peek into the larger problem. And you look at each screen one at a time. And you work on one small part of the problem at a time. The big problem is solved and doesn't seem so scary anymore. Aha! I get it. I can come up with my own plan. I can break down the big problem by counting so many stars by galaxies and count them one galaxy at a time. I admire your courage, Ara, to solve such a big problem, says Kripa. Good luck. Beep. Next we meet Parissa, the intrepid innovator. She's in the ideas lab pondering big problems. What makes you an innovator? I quiz her excitedly. Parissa smiles. I create new solutions that make computers solve big problems. Great! I have a plan for counting stars, but I still have so many questions. Let's brainstorm, said Parissa. You can start by writing an algorithm. Algorithm? That's a big word. Parissa hands me a cupcake. It's just a fancy name for a recipe. Like a recipe, an algorithm is a set of step-by-step -step instructions to get something done. We brainstorm together and come up with a recipe, an algorithm for my plan. Aha! My algorithm, step one. Okay, Dee Dee, first count all the stars in my favorite galaxy, Milky Way. Step two, repeat. Step 2.1 if there is another galaxy. Step 2.1.1, count stars in the new galaxy. Step 2.1.2, go to step two. Step 2.2, Elsie, go to step three. Step three, okay, Dee Dee, stop counting. My algorithm. I'm impressed by your creativity, Ara, in creating an algorithm all on your own, said Parissa. But how will Didi understand a brand new algorithm? Didi has only been programmed to do easy tasks. Parissa smiles. For that, you need to turn your algorithm into code. Beep. Next, we meet Diane, the code commander. She's in the coding pods directing a fleet of computers. Can you actually command computers? I ask her curiously. I sure can, Diane says, by writing code. Just as people speak and write in different languages, we use coding languages to communicate with computers. That's what I need to do, I say. I have an algorithm, and now I need to code it. Let's program, says Diane. We jump into coding basics. It's tricky, but fun. Aha! At last, we have a robust code to communicate my algorithm to Didi. 
I love your eagerness to code, Ara, says Diane. This gives you the power to communicate with any computer. I feel proud. And now I'm ready to count the stars. Beep. Okay, Dee Dee, let's launch. Ready, set, go. Dee Dee starts to count. Displays a number. Beep, beep, but stops. Oh no, Dee Dee has an error. I slump down. I'm so disappointed. Engineering something new is so tough, I say to Dee Dee. I don't think I can do it. Beep, beep. You're right, Dee Dee. I'm a problem solver. I won't give up. So we go to meet Marion, the tenacious troubleshooter. She's in the X space designing and fixing all sorts of machines. Dee Dee has an error and can't count enough stars. Can you help us? I ask her hopefully. Absolutely, answers Marion. Let's improve Dee Dee. She takes a closer look. Hmm. It seems like Dee Dee needs more computing power. She hands me a processor and a memory chip. More processors, more memory, more storage. Aha! Together we successfully troubleshoot Dee Dee. I really like your spirit of collaboration, Ara, Marion proclaims. Working as a team with so many engineers has helped you fix problems faster. Okay, Dee Dee, let's launch version two. Beep. We are now ready to count the stars. Ready, set, go. Whoa, what a huge number of stars, even more than a Google. Success. Just as all the engineers cheer us, I share another discovery with everyone. I know an amazing algorithm to solve any problem. Courage, creativity, code, and collaboration. Right, Dee Dee? Beep. Wasn't that a great story? Now let's look at Ara's notebook. Her notebook says, big numbers. I love big numbers. Google is a huge number. It is one followed by 100 zeros. Here's what it looks like. The tech company Google was named after the number Google. The founders accidentally misspelled Google when they started the company in 1998. There are even bigger numbers than a Google. A Google Plex is a one followed by a Google of zeros. That's way too long to write down. I wonder what some other giant numbers are and how many zeros they have. One million, billion, trillion, infinity? Algorithms. An algorithm is a set of steps that tell a computer or human how to do something. Computers aren't as smart as kids, so we need to tell them every single step to follow. If I wanted to tell a computer robot how to brush teeth, this would be my algorithm. Step one, pick up toothbrush. Step two, squeeze toothpaste onto toothbrush. Step three, Brush gently against teeth. Step four, repeat step three until all teeth are clean. Step five, clean toothbrush in sink. Step six, put toothbrush away. What would an algorithm be to put on pants or to make a, a sandwich? Yum. Coding. Coding is a way to talk to a computer. We write code using a programming language like Ruby, Python, or Java. Code can tell a computer to do something once, like step two of my algorithm, or to repeat a step over and over, like in step four. Steps that repeat are called a loop. They can be really useful. I found two different ways to code a loop. I can tell the computer to do something for some time, for two minutes to brush teeth. Another way is to tell the computer to keep going while something is true. While all 20 teeth haven't been brushed, keep brushing. Can you create a loop to do 30 jumping jacks? Computers and data centers. I visited a data center today at Innovation Plex and it was filled with thousands of computers. I found out that data centers use a lot of energy as much as a small town. I'm glad many data centers are powered by green energy. Computers are everywhere. 
they might as well be as big as your room or as small as a coin. All computers have a processor and memory. Can you make a list of all of the computers around? Superheroes in computer science. I met some amazing engineers at InnovationPlex and I learned that history is filled with important women in computer science. Ada Lovelace was a math whiz and the first computer programmer. She wrote the first computer algorithm over 150 years ago using punch cards. Grace Hopper invented a programming language called COBOL. Her team had a problem with a computer and found a real moth inside. They took out the moth and called it debugging, which is now means fixing problems in computer code. Katherine Johnson worked at NASA and did math calculations to find the right paths for rockets and space flights to the moon and Mars. Who are some other superheroes in computer science? Well, future titans, I hope you enjoyed our story today. Goodbye.